Hello and welcome to Blockchain Gaming World with me, John Jordan. So just a brief video really, um, which is highlighting something that is happening. Um, and that is um, Arcane Network, which is a, a kind of wallet platform solution, is launching a, a marketplace on the Matic Network. I think that in and of itself would not be particularly interesting, um, but definitely we would, I would suggest in We've already seen it in 2020 and, and accelerated in 2021 as we're seeing a lot of um, games uh, looking to use Matic uh, as, as their kind of um, main deployment blockchain in uh, 2021. So um, what is Matic? Matic is what we call a layer two solution. So um, it is compatible with Ethereum. Um, but as we know for games, Ethereum is uh, a fairly slow blockchain and at the moment uh, and probably continue <laughs> for the for the for the future will have high gas fees. So every transaction on the Ethereum blockchain is gonna cost a lot of, uh, of um, ETH um, to, to get through. So um, games have been hit uh, massively uh, during 2020. Um, some have seen over 90% of their daily activity uh, uh, lost because of gas fees. So obviously people are looking in general to what we call layer solutions or also called side chains. Um, and some people are making their own, so Axie Infinity is, is making its own um, sidechain. Um, but lots of people are looking for a effectively a commercial solution, and that is what the Matic network is. So we've already seen Xerox Universe, Blockchain Qt is already um, already launched on Matic. Um, we have people like um, uh, uh, Neon District um, also you know, looking to launch on. Um, on, on Matic, um, so obviously it's, it's, this kind of technology tends. Uh, this technology isn't as um, kind of mature as Ethereum. Ethereum has been around for a number of years, so um, there's still a kind of uh, slight issue where, where you know is is the is the game finished to deploy onto Matic and, and is Matic kind of fully finished? Um, it is it is finished in the sense that it's secure, um, but these things can always be developed, can't they? So um, we haven't seen an enormous number of users yet on Matic. But we're definitely seeing a lot of uh, developers um, highlighting that they're going to be using it. Um, so that's why it's interesting. At the moment, there is no marketplace on Matic. So Arcane Network is launching a marketplace. So one of the things that's interesting about Arcane, which is really um, best known as being a wallet solution, um, is that it uh, it allows you to kind of... Um, I mean, actually a bit like Metamask, you can run you can run wallets for Binance Smart Chain and, and, and Matic on... Uh, MetaMask, but it's fairly complicated to do that. You have to like set it up yourself. For something like Arcane, it has the kind of some elements um, where it, it's easier to do things because they do it for you, but you still have um, custody of your private keys. The other big thing with with Arcane is uh, you can use things like email um, or your social network um, kind of logins to create blockchain wallets. So it's not like setting up a MetaMask where you have to um, remember your recovery phrase and if you lose your recovery phrase, you lose everything. Um, with, with Arcane, they have a, um, a, a more, um, I guess what we call a more mass market sort of uh, user experience and, um, and uh, kind of security model. So um, there, Arcane um, is already supporting Matic as a wallet solution. Uh, and, and in fact, um, uh, it's also supporting um, Binance Smart Chain, so it's kind of interesting that the, particularly those two networks where we haven't seen, where we're starting to see NFTs being generated. Um, obviously, kind of NFTs are useful if you if you're playing a game um, on, on on a new blockchain and the NFTs are on there. That, that's kind of useful. You can just use the NFTs to play the game. Uh, but to have a marketplace, a generalized marketplace, is is pretty um, powerful. We've seen that with uh, on Ethereum with things like OpenSea. Interestingly, it does seem that at some point uh, OpenSea will also be launching a um, marketplace on Matic, or at least using Matic in its existing marketplace. Not quite sure how that's gonna um, work out. But we can definitely see a, a momentum behind Matic as a place where NFTs and games are happening. For developers who are interested in using the, uh, or investigating the Arcane solution, um, you can now sign up for early access. So officially launching in Q1, uh, so uh, between now and uh, March, I suppose. Um, and um, one of the reasons that you might be wanting to sign up quickly is um, you, instead of paying 4% four, uh, 4 uh, as a transaction fee, um, you'll pay 2%. So um, yeah, <laughs> you'll be saving um, half the transaction fee. That, that's the transaction fee that goes to Matic for kind of hosting the, um, the, the platform. So um, there you go, uh, the, the general, thing is Matic is something to um, be kind of checking out, I guess. 
whether that's wallet creation, which you can do through MetaMask or, or, or um, things like, or, 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 or um, solutions like Arcane, um, but definitely NFTs on Matic. And the point of Matic being it's, it's a very fast, faster blockchain than Ethereum. I mean, what, what isn't? Um, and it has effectively zero gas fees. Um, but it, the, the issue kind of is, as a layer two solution, then you lose the uh, composability with Ethereum because you, you're you're bridging across between the two. So so there is there is that kind of friction in the system. You don't get anything um, for nothing, really, I suppose. Um, anyway, uh, thanks for uh, watching the video. Uh, this is Blockchain Gaming World. Please subscribe if you're interested in that sort of thing. Um, but thanks for watching and see you again soon.